Hey there, design enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel where I bring you the best tips and tricks for all your design needs. Today we're diving into the wall of curves, a powerful tool that can help you create stunning designs with ease. If you're new to curves or just looking to brush up on your skills, this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's get started. I got this drawing. You can take a screenshot or visit my webpage at cadamus.com where you can find this drawing and others. I'll post a link. So let's have a look. We got this curved surface with a radius of 2222. And there is a, a pipe or a half pipe um, projected on, on that surface. We have an auxiliary view to that edge where we can see the, the radius of that pipe with 111. That center point is right on that bottom edge of our sheet. The thickness of the sheet is 12 millimeters. So the curve starts at 444 from that bottom edge and we got an overall width of 1644 and that curve so has that straight part then a curved part 666 um, continues with that same radius and is symmetric over the the width the length of our part and that center point is horizontally to that line. All right, so um, let me take that over here. That is the part. I will work with uh, surface commands. I'll make a sketch, extrude that, another sketch, project that sketch to that surface, make a plane then to that curve, um, on that plane, I will draw that circle, then a sweep for our half pipe, and then just some trim, surface trim tools, then stitch everything together and thicken that. All right, so I'll start a new design in millimeters, and a sketch on the front plane, that center point arc from the origin over here. Make those two horizontal relationship. Diameter 2222. All right. Finish that sketch. Go to the surface tab, extrude that. And the extrusion will be that measurement 1644. All right, there is our surface body here, our folder. And now let's sketch that curve on that top plane, starting with a line straight horizontal part then that first curve the second curve then a line to the origin make that vertical make that coincident make that one to that one horizontal and that center coincident with our um, mirror line I'll make that with X uh, construction geometry and type in those measurements here 
that is 444. Then we get here those 666. Those two are equal. Then I will mirror these objects over that line. And that's it for our sketch number two. I finished that. Have a look at that. All right. And now we want to project this curve or this sketch onto that surface. So I'll start a new sketch. Um, if you have a look at that in isometric or some spatial view. Go to create, go to project and then to project to surface first that face will be that one the curves are those the project direction will be defined by this plane and we get a preview in red of our projected curve i accept that and we can hide sketch number two. Finish that sketch. Maybe hide our surface body for a moment to have a look at our curve. And then define uh, a plane, a long path. So I pick this path. Got a preview where it could be. But I push that back to that initial point here, and it locks in there. I accept that. Make that surface body visible. Then I'll start a sketch with a um, circle. Dimension that with 222. And make that coincident with that point here. I finished that sketch, sweep that, take that path, take that profile and take that path here. Accept that. There it is. And now we'll go into that trim command and take our pipe as a tool and trim that inner portion of our sheet. Let's go back to the trim tool, pick our straight surface body as the trim tool and that pipe as the object to be trimmed and there it is now we need to stitch things together take those three we got one body here let's thicken our surface body I take the command, window select all those, minus 12 millimeters, accept that, there it is, and let's apply some appearances here, um, I get a paint and powder coat rough. I give that body, that yellow appearance, and switch over to faces, and take that powder coat rough blue, and apply that to those faces here.
And that's it for our curve and surface exercise. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.